Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to play a game that requires a disc without a disc. So it's just on your computer and uh, you can just play it without putting in a disc. So uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to do it myself and uh, I couldn't really find a video on it. So I thought I'd just make one because, you know, I know this is a bit random. Um, but yeah, what you want to do is uh, visit the description and under downloads there will be two links. You want to click on both. The first one is going to take you to Alcohol, which is just the software that basically just does it all for you. And then the next one is WinRAR, which is just a program that allows you to open the installer. So what you want to do here is just select the version for your computer. So out of these two, either 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on your computer. So just click that link and install WinRAR. Uh, you can also get 7-zip if you want. Uh, so yeah, once you've got that, you can close that and uh, now you're here you can either get the trial or the full version and uh, the difference is uh, this gives you two virtual drives and uh, the other one gives you 64 oh no 31 um, and basically that just means you can only have two games on your computer that uh, don't need a disc so uh, that's what it basically means uh, but if you buy it you'll have 31 so yeah uh, what you want to do is click download trial or obviously not if you've bought it but yeah click that and then click download and then right click on download here open link in new tab and uh, then you just want to wait for it to load okay once it's done it's gonna say this uh, you just want to click this arrow here and press keep and uh, once you've done that you want to just drag the file to your desktop just like that and uh, you can close this now. Okay, so once you have this, you want to right click on it, open with WinRAR. Now uh, that's the program you should have downloaded. Uh, so yeah, make sure you have that. Uh, you can also open it with 7-zip if you want. Uh, but either of the two, you just want to click on it and uh, drag this to the side. And you want to double click on this uh, new RAR file here. Double click on that. And uh, now what you're going to do is just double click on this EXE here. So double click on that. And uh, you just want to wait till it opens. And uh, you just want to click yes. And uh, now that you're here, you just want to basically just install it. So next, 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 and uh, so on. Uh, I've already got it, so I don't need to do that. But yeah, make sure you do that. And then close it. Okay. And uh, once you've done that, you want to close all this. And uh, then you can delete the downloader file. And uh, then you just want to double click on alcohol 120 which uh, should appear on your desktop. So just double click on it. Okay, so uh, you should get something like this. And uh, basically, uh, as you can see, I have two things here. And uh, this is just the two games I already have here. And uh, now I'm just going to show you how to get one. Uh, so this should be blank for you because you just got it. Um, but yeah, what you want to do is uh, firstly click on Virtual Drive here under Options. So click that. And uh, you want to tick this scroll down here thing and uh, you want to just select how many drives you want so basically how many games you want to put on your PC that don't require a disk so for the trial I'm pretty sure you'll only have two uh, but I have the full version so uh, I can do 31 or whatever uh, but yeah for most people you'll just select one and then tick both of these and then press OK and uh, once you've done that it's just gonna make a virtual drive for you so once you've done that what you want to do is uh, right click on your Windows thing here and then you want to go to File Explorer and uh, now that you're here you just want to inject well put the disk in that you want to put on your computer so just put it in okay so once it's in uh, it's going to appear and uh, as you can see for this example I'm just using Sony Vegas not Sony Vegas sorry um, what's it called Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, that's the one. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, uh, it'll pop up here. And uh, what you want to look for out for is just the sort of number here. So as you can see, this is under the H drive. So you just want to remember that. Uh, it doesn't really matter because it'll probably show you, but you know, just remember that. So under the H drive. And uh, then what you want to do is click on Image Making Wizard. And uh, this is just going to make one of these uh, for your game. So what you want to do is just tick this here. And uh, what you want to do is tick that drive with the game you want to put it on your PC on. So for this, it's H. And uh, always, as you can see, uh, if you just select another drive, it's not going to have anything here because, you know, nothing's in it. Uh, so, yeah, you just want to tick the one with the game on, so H, and uh, you're going to see it here. And uh, also, if you go to reading options, uh, you can set the, you know, 
image location, uh, but you know, you don't really have to do that. I do just because I have small storage on my main disk, uh, but yeah, that shouldn't matter. Um, so yeah, you can usually just leave that unless, yeah, anyway. So what you want, once you've got that, uh, you just want to tick it and press start. And uh, you just want to wait for this to load. Uh, it will take quite a long time just because it's like completely copying the disk and everything. Um, so yeah, just wait for this to load. And uh, yeah. Okay, so once it's done, uh, the file is going to appear here. So uh, as you can see, R6 Vegas. And uh, now it's just a matter of mounting the file. So the thing you just made. Uh, to the drive we made here. So you just want to right click on the file, mount on device, and uh, once you have done that, uh, it's going to appear here. So uh, if we just go to File Explorer, as you can see, it's here, and uh, the disk is actually ejected. So uh, that's how you know it works. Uh, also, if you just double click on it, uh, as you can see, it's going to work, and uh, the disk isn't even in. Uh, so also, if uh, you do have more than one virtual drive, and you right click on and then do mount on device you can choose between which drive which virtual drive you want to put it on um, but yeah uh, that's basically it uh, that's how you know it works uh, also the one downside uh, it's probably you know an easy fix but uh, whenever I restart my PC I just have to right click and mount every time uh, that should be easy to fix so uh, thank you guys for watching I hope this video did work, and uh, if it did, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all.